right, well, I totally failed, and I'm really ashamed to admit it. <laughs> I had uh, two kind of big fails. So basically, I tried to upload something on the Thunderstruck Gaming, and for those of you who don't know, that's the community channel. Most of you know that. That's where most of you guys came from. And when you upload a video, you have to upload it as unlisted. And what that means is that you can't watch a video, basically, unless you have the direct link to it. So if you go onto someone's channel, you can't see that video. The only way you can see it is if that person sends you a link to the video, then you click on it, and then you can see it. So I, I uploaded it as, up, as unlisted, excuse me, and <laughs> then I forgot to change my settings, and I uploaded another video, and it was unlisted, and it wasn't like a, a good video, honestly, and I deleted it. <laughs> because uh, I didn't want it to post a week later, but I uploaded a video, but it published as unlisted, and none of you guys saw it. And I was like, you know, it's one day later, why does this have zero views? What the heck? So, I was like, well, it's unlisted, and I just made a rookie mistake. Whatever, and I deleted it. No big deal. And then later, I was playing some Xbox, and I had some lag, and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to reset my router and turn off all Wi-Fi devices. So I turned off the Wi-Fi on my computer and phone and stuff like that. And <laughs> I continued to play, and I don't think it really made a difference, but I, I might as well have tried. Then I tried to upload another video. And I went online on my computer, even though the Wi-Fi was off, it was still on like an offline mode where I could, you know, view... Uh, pages I'd recently viewed in the past basically kind of saved it um, you know and I wasn't technically online but I could still go and view my history pages or the pages I've recently visited so I went to upload a video I uh, cl clicked the file dragged it straight onto YouTube and just left it came back the next day and the video had failed and I was just like you know why did this fail it's at zero percent I don't get it and <laughs> So I, I figured it out, you know, about a couple days later after I, I tried it one more time and it still failed. Because I don't use my laptop pretty much for anything at all on the internet. I don't, you know, do anything except for upload videos. I don't go on Twitter or Facebook or anything like that on my laptop. The only thing I use it for is recording gameplays and uploading it. So there's that. I had two fails. One where my Wi-Fi was off and I didn't know, and the other where I uploaded it but it was unlisted so nobody saw it. So, I've been trying to get videos to you guys, but I just epically failed. And, you know, they weren't the bestest of all videos, to be honest. So I'm, I'm, I'm secretly glad that I, um, you know, failed and you didn't have to suffer through that. But what I wanted to talk about today after I, you know, spent three minutes talking about nothing, is a time, and I promised you guys this story the last time, and I... This is one of the things that I uploaded, but I didn't tell it very well. It was a time that my boss and I actually stopped a, a criminal. And this was way back when, when I was working at a place called Radio Shack. It sells like electronic parts. I think it's closed now. Good thing I, I quit and left and went to another job before it shut down. You know, that company was going down the hill. And I was working, and someone came in. He was really shady, and, you know, we kept an eye on him, but not good enough. He actually grabbed a pair of Beats headphones, which were like $200. Huge waste of money, but that's besides the point. Uh, he grabbed them, ran out of the door, and I'm like, dude, that guy just stole the Beats. And my boss, he, he was, I think, 20, maybe 21 at the time, maybe 22, I don't know. He was a really young guy, you know, about as young as I am, a little bit older. And, you know, he's, he's a hothead, he doesn't want um, people showing him up or anything, so he chased the guy out of the store which is a really stupid move you know most people if they chase a criminal or hurt a criminal or anything like that they get fired just because this is America and things don't really make sense uh, I don't know about any other countries or anything like that but for the most part if you hurt anyone like no matter what you get fired so he was chasing this guy and I ended up calling the police and I'm, I'm not like the hero in the story or anything I just think it's an interesting story and I was just like, you know, um, you guys should come over here because someone stole something and my boss chased him. And I don't know, you know, if uh, my boss is going to hurt him or if he's going to get shot or, you know, what's going to happen. I was just worried for, like, the safety of my boss and friend and all that good stuff. And because we, we had gotten a, a pretty good bond, we were kind of close. And I didn't want anything to happen to him. I didn't know what the shady guy was capable of. I didn't know if he had a weapon or anything like that. Or um, So, yeah, he, he chased him. And right behind our store was, you know, some more stores. And right behind that was just, like, this little street called Ford Road. And right beyond that was this little guardrail. And the guy, the burglar, jumped the guardrail trying to escape from my boss. And they weren't running very fast. 
Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny watching them, you know, looking back now that I know that he was safe. But anyway, he jumped the guardrail, and he basically rolled down a 100 or 200 foot ravine. It wasn't a straight cliff drop, but it was it was a good 60 degree angle, and he rolled all the way down, and it was wet, and I think it was really it might have been cold. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when he got it, but I I remember it being cold or something like that, and. He rolled all the way down and the cops got there. There was actually a ton of cops and I, I was looking from a distance. I was still working. I wasn't like, you know, over at the crime scene or anything like that. But there was like, you know, seven or eight cops. There's like three firefighters and two ambulance. And I was just like, what is, why is there so many, you know, people over here? This is just one guy. Um, well, it ends up this was a wanted crim criminal and he had robbed two banks um, earlier, um, once the month before and once the week before, I think. He had robbed the bank, and then I think I think he got caught and like set bail or something like that. And then he robbed another bank. And the way he did it is he called a bomb threat into a high school, and all the police went to the high school. And then he robbed the bank while they're all distracted, which is kind of silly. You you know you're creating panic and stuff for, to a bunch of high schoolers just so you could rob a bank, just get a few hundred or thousand dollars. And they were looking for him. He ended up robbing our store. He fell down the ravine, broke his ankle, got caught, and the firefighters had to pull him out. And it was like all wet and really hard. It took him an hour or two. So they pull him out. Um, you know, they arrest him, all that good stuff. And the reason I'm bringing up the story is because the guy actually just got sentenced. He got sentenced to 12 years in prison. And it just reminded me, I think it happened like a year ago. And I thought I'd share that with you guys because I thought it was really funny and interesting. And I haven't posted in a while. Uh, but the next video I'm going to post is going to be pretty much the, probably the most perfect COD that I can think of. And it'll just be like what I want in a perfect Call of Duty that, it, it probably won't happen, but I'm just going to ask, whoop, my microphone fell. I'm going to ask your opinions on what you guys would want in a perfect Call of Duty. You'll see when I get to it. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for uh, stopping by and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you have a good day. Peace. Make sure to subscribe.